Warning, the following content may include themes that are potentially frightening to mentally stable viewers. You have been warned. <laughs> I, I, I was crying and then I was sitting there in silence and now it's really funny because I went to upload a logo, just update my logo. <laughs> We're looking up issues on, on, K, on the KDP thing because you know, people have issues sometimes. Like, oh, my chapter headings are gone. Oh, my pages are blank. Oh, my, my processing stuff isn't working. My whole book is gone. <laughs> What you just saw was my reaction to losing my entire, nearly ready to publish, completely formatted book. But before we go on to that, I think we should rewind a little. Hello everyone, my name is Angelina Scripter. If you don't know me, I am an upcoming author and writer and I am excited to share everything I have with you. If you do know me, I'm very glad to have you back. However, I have some news to share with you today. Recently, I posted my first YouTube video and oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are amazing. I was not expecting to hit my like goal of glorious 10 likes that quickly, but you guys really did it. And you also gave me so many more views and comments and you just said such nice things to me. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoy this video as well and you decide to stick around. So if you don't know, I am in the middle of writing a poetry book right now. It's nearly ready to publish, but oh, am I backtracking at the moment. Today, I would like to tell you the story of formatting my poetry book to get ready for self-publishing and why it went so, so very wrong. Again, I think I should tell you a little bit about what I need to do to format my poetry book in the first place. So obviously I need to get it ready to publish to whatever platform I choose to publish on, which I think my main one is going to be Amazon at first. And then after that, I'm going to try to get it in Barnes and Nobles, but we'll see how that works. So I need to have my lines a certain way because obviously if you know poetry, you'll know that stanzas are what the poems are broken into and you will have a set of lines and then a space, and another set of lines and so on as much as you need to. So the way you do this in poetry is you'll actually have single line spacing and then when you need to do a stanza break it's not a hard return it's just double spacing instead of single spacing and that's how you switch it up. So the first website I tried to use to format my books was called Atticus and let me tell you Atticus was wonderful. They have so many options available and they were actually really great on customer support as well. I had a few questions for them they answered right away but sadly they didn't have line spacing options. I don't know why or how but I would have had to do it manually and it took so long and I just couldn't end up doing it. They were gracious enough to give me an instant refund. I did get my money back and after a while of trying to search for another program, it was back to the drawing board. But luckily, I ended up finding Amazon Katie... No. <laughs> create which is directly with Amazon and it was going so lovely my mom actually was the one that helped me find it at first and it was going wonderfully at first and then there's a reason I keep saying at first because my gosh did it go so horribly wrong after a while so wrong so with Amazon no <laughs> With Kindle Create, it has a lot of templates where you can actually format your work with some help. And Atticus had this too, which if you want to format a book, try out Atticus. It is actually really good. I just couldn't use it for this book, but I might be going back to it in the future. But Kindle Create was free and I wanted to give it a try. And the first thing I realized was I never had to log in to use it. Everything that you do goes directly to your computer and it saves through your computer's hardware. And I was actually questioning that at first, like what would happen? happen if 
I lost my computer? Is anything gonna go wrong? And about a week later, I found out. So if you don't know, I actually started my own publishing firm. I'm going to self-publish, but I didn't want it just under my pen name. So I actually created my own company slash publishing firm slash business, and I am the owner of it. And you'll get to find out what that is soon, but it's going great. And where was I going with this? And one of the things that I did for my business was create a company logo. It's very simple, but I think it gets the job done. And when I uploaded it, it was a little too lack of detail for when I uploaded it as a small image. So I decided to just add in some smaller lines. And at that point, I had created my entire book with Kindle Create. I had used Google Docs in the past. My whole life, I've always used Google Docs, but they are not the best for formatting. When I moved on to Kindle Create, what I did was I ordered all of my poems, put them in the random on purpose order that I wanted because if you don't know my poetry book is going to be the type of book where you don't have to go chronologically from one poem to the next. I purposefully made it so when you read them all they're in an order that seems random and you can open to a random page and get a different type of poem but that's not the point right now. So at the point that I went to go upload my new logo everything was in order, all my poems had a name, everything was beautiful, all I had to do was really press that submit button, everything was done and I was just waiting on my cover to be able to actually publish it and get a couple legal things done. So it's around 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> So it's around 1.30 in the morning and I go to upload my logo and I just wanted to see how it looked as a small image and my book wasn't there? What? So a few days before, I had just done a couple Windows updates on my laptop, which for the record, my laptop is brand new. I got it for my most recent birthday as a gift and it is a high-end laptop. Long story short, it shouldn't be breaking this soon, this easily. But I got a new Windows update and I was playing some games with my brother and it blue screened twice already. Things weren't working properly at all, but I didn't really think anything of it. And when I went to go open Kindle Create, there's a file list where it says all your current projects projects and there was nothing on the list. I didn't know what was causing this. That was when I had my minor breakdown and I went to go wake my mom in a panic. All I could really say to her was, it's not there. It's gone. And she hastily woke up for me. Thank you, mom. I love you. And she came into my room and she said, honey, what's wrong? Are you okay? What happened? And I just pointed at my computer screen weekly and I just went, it's gone. My whole book it's gone. And that was the moment she also had a look of panic cross her face. What the heck do you do in that situation? My mom even considered contacting the people that made it, but this is an Atticus. This is Amazon. Amazon isn't gonna answer. So it was at this moment that I didn't know what to do and my crying quickly turned to silence, quickly turned to recording. This was before I even had a YouTube channel. I just started recording my laughter. I was so out of it and distraught. And then the next morning I woke up and I played Minecraft all day. And then I went to bed. And then I woke up and I played Minecraft all day. <sighs> I finally realized I had to do something about this. I had my sister try to look through all the code and bibble babble of trying to figure out what was going on. You know, she's smart, maybe she can help. And it looks like this. And as you can probably guess, that didn't make any sense to me. It barely made sense to her. And she's trying to find the code log to try to see where my last edits were. And we pull up the log and we're going to revert the changes before the corruption and there's nothing there. Every time I tried to open my file, it said something was wrong with the manifest file and it was incorrect and everything was going wrong and we couldn't even access the manifest file. It wiped itself clean. There was nothing there. And it was at that time that I decided to give up and try to divert my attention to something else. That's when I wanted to try YouTube. So it's the next night, I'm sitting there talking to my cousin over FaceTime and I go to open OBS, a recording software that I think maybe I'll try to figure out how to use this for live streaming and YouTube and it'll be great and it doesn't open. And I keep trying to open it and update it and nothing's working. And it says some coding thing is missing. So I go through the entire struggle of trying to figure out what the heck is missing. And it basically tells me to use it, I have to install this other thing that's some software on my computer. So I go to install it, but it says it's already there. So at this point, I give up. I call the nearest computer service, bring my computer into the shops. They barely know what's going on. They take three days, which is a day extra than they thought they would need to try to figure out what was going on with my computer. And in the end, I ended up losing even more files. All my stuff that I 
found about my business, all my stuff that had to do with banking, everything was gone. They didn't know where it went. They backed up all my files. My computer was just erasing things. Computer, you're supposed to be good. I loved you. In the meantime, I decided to try to do some work with my book cover and oh, did that go wonderfully well. I'm trying to reset myself a little and I cannot wait to show you guys my book cover. You'd better subscribe if you wanna see what this looks like cause oh, is it beautiful. So at this point in time, I'm going to download some of my covers, my sample covers that I had got and I found my business files and I found my book files. Everything was hidden within layers and layers of my computer and I think I might have gotten it packed and I go to open my file for my book and it's there and it's present and I click on it and it says the file you're trying to access does not exist and there it goes vanish into thin air what I genuinely could not tell you what happened. The shops assumed that it was something with the Windows update I took and something just went wrong along the way. They definitely found some corrupted files on my computer. I found some corrupted files on my computer doing my own type of scans. So where do I go from here? Well, as I mentioned, I started working on some other projects while trying to reset myself from this loss. Luckily, I did not lose everything. As I mentioned, I did have a Google Docs file with my original work and in a last second thought, I decided to upload my titles to that Google Doc. They took me days to come up with the proper title, to enhance every single poem and have the correct title that would fit for them. And I almost didn't write them down in a second place because I trusted this website. Never trust anything. Save everything twice, three times, four times. It doesn't matter. Save it all as many times as you need to. Please let this be my warning to you. Save it all. Always save everything. But as I mentioned, I did find some of my missing files. I found all my banking information. Luckily, I found all my company information. Everything is safe now. And I caught a hard drive, a terabyte hard drive, and put everything onto there. All my stories of ever written, all of my cover information. Oh, actually I have to put all my cover information on there. I'm gonna go do that after this video. Everything that I had to do with my business, just anything you could imagine, I saved it again. But I still couldn't get my formatted book back. I do still have the content. I have all the titles. I was about seven titles in when I realized I should be rewriting these in Google Docs. I have my author's note. I have my about the author. I have everything that I need. It's just not in order. And it may not seem like the biggest thing in the world. And frankly, it isn't the biggest thing in the world. I'm very, very grateful to not have lost more, but it is kind of discouraging and it did kind of put a stop to where I am now. I am trying to look at this like a blessing in disguise because it did get me to start YouTube. It was a push in that right direction to get my covers and it is leading to better things, but in the moment it did not feel like anything good. I just spent days and weeks formatting this book to have nothing in the end. And the knowledge that I have to go back and do it all again with the risk of losing losing everything again is so discouraging. I don't want to use Kindle Create anymore because I don't trust it. How could I after it just deleted my whole work? I'm so lucky that I had saved it somewhere else. What if I didn't? I would have lost my entire nearly published book, but I don't really have any other options. There's not that many formatting websites out there. If you know of any, please let me know in the comments. I am desperate. I'm thinking about using Microsoft Word, but I've never been a fan of it in the past and it might just be worth learning. So if you're interested interested at all in finding out where I decide to go next on this formatting publishing process, please do leave a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. This is a brand new channel and I am trying to get it off the ground a little bit before I publish my first book. But as of right now, I'm going to be reformatting everything. I'm going to be trying to breathe a little bit, probably playing a lot more Minecraft and oh boy, I'm going to start over. So while this video is shorter than my last one, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to follow my Instagram and maybe even check out my DeviantArt. Who the heck knows? Maybe you'll like some of my drops I have up on there. You can delve into the depths of what I wrote when I was younger. But on my Instagram, you can definitely find my writer's updates, what I'm up to next, if I format ever, where I'll be formatting when I'm writing, all that glorious stuff that involves the writer's life. And please let me know if you like this type of video. I like giving you guys updates. That is something I'd like to use this channel for. And with that, and with that, I will see you all in the future. Angelina out.